Baker, and this is Up Her Radio. Today we got an interview, a podcast with Half Wicked. Boom. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Half Wicked, tap in. We're about to learn about the artist, all that good stuff. Real horror, what's up? Yo, what's good, bro? <laughs> Half Wicked, how are you doing? I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. I've been waiting for this. This shit is about I, to be lit. Bro. Yes, sir, bro. Yeah, we've been trying to, we've been talking about this for a while now, bro. But how are the vibes doing? I'm chilling, bro. I've been trying to recover, bro. Like, the last few days, like, it hurt to even just, like, open up my mouth to talk, bro. Like, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me, but my throat hurt like a bitch. Whoa, dog, did you have, like, a, like, lock jaw or something? Nah. Damn. I don't think so. Damn, bro, the health is wealth, you know what I mean? If you don't got that taken care of, it can affect the mind, you know? Yeah, for real, bro. I just smoked, like, six months last night to go to sleep. That shit was wild. Hey, if we, at least we got to be grateful for marijuana, you know what I mean? When times is broke, for real. Exactly, but, bro. But Half Wicked, how are you? The name Half Wicked, first of all, let's start off with that. Why oh, is it only name? Half Wicked? Yeah. Well, there's this one brand that I fuck with heavy. It's called Half Evil. I didn't, like, I saw them and I was like, damn, that's low-key fire. That's like a fire-ass metaphor for, like, just life in general. Like, I don't know. I think of myself as, like, a really, like just like contradictory person in like nature like i do i try and feel like i'm a good person but i do fucked up shit a lot so How? it's just kind of like a reflection of myself i guess wow that's perfect actually how familiar are you with like the yin yang the symbol yeah that's like the shit yeah like the white fish has to be yeah. with the black fish it's just a part yeah. of life it's how a balance, right? It's a balance. Now, how long have you been tapped in with, with that kind of stuff? I don't know, bro. I've always, like, questioned just everything around me, like, my existence. Like, I always try to, like, make sure I question shit before I ever really, like, follow it, bro. Yes, for real. Now, you're a musician. Now, how, with that being said, does that impact the music at all? What'd you say? Does that, like, thinking, like, uh, half wicked, you know what I mean? The good and the bad, the balance, does oh. that affect the music at all? Yeah, I feel like it could give me some, like, cool ways to come on tracks. Like, say some, like, so, like talk about some, like, super dark, fucked up shit. And then just, like, be able to slip back into, like, the kind of the more, like, chill. Like, mm. like mm -hmm. go hard on one part of the track and then, like, in, like, a chorus or something, like, sing it out and, like, just slip back into that and then like before you know it i'm going hard as fuck again Damn. so yeah i've been trying to incorporate that into my music that's beautiful now for all the viewers that are new to you um that are watching now and gonna watch in the future what kind of musician are you go ahead and describe that for them shit well i rap uh like rap is like my shit bro i love rap since i was like a little ass kid and i uh sing i play instruments i tried making beats like but that didn't really work out uh yeah i'm just like a like i don't really have like a genre that i fit into yet mm. i've just been mm, trying okay. to find a sound yeah so what came first you uh rapping or picking up an instrument uh me rapping i they, honestly it came together at like the same exact time mm. Here's one for you right here, bro. What was the first rap song you heard? My what? The Sorry, first bro. rap song you ever heard. Oh, the first rap song I ever heard. It was probably like a um I I can't remember if it was a Eminem song or uh Love Me by Drake Lil Wayne and uh Future. Damn. I remember listening to that shit when I was like mad young. That's dope. Now Speak on some of the inspirations, though, like the musicians that really help grow you into this artist. Shit. I really started fucking with, like, Drake, Wayne, Eminem, Future, uh, and a whole bunch of, like, bands like uh, Nirvana and the Red Hot Chili Peppers and uh, 
just like when I was super, super young. Because my mom, she would always like listen to rock music. So mm-hmm. I've always fucked with rock music since I was like a little ass kid. And like I just kind of found rap on my own when I was like 10 years old. Ten years I just started old. watching like a bunch of music videos and shit. It was... Yo, so you was... brought up, you're the first one to bring up Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like that's another great band. Like They're fire as fuck, bro. I love like them. Yeah, like, they're straight up fire. How do you feel, what are your thoughts on um, music today compared to now, uh, compared to then, my bad? Um, it's really congested. Mm. Mm. Static. It's at, like, a, it's, like, at a point where you don't see a lot of people doing a lot of new stuff, which I'm trying to bring back into that shit. I don't know, it's static. It's, like, uh, I feel like it's always, in a sense, it's, like, I think it's really congested and static, and it's not as original. People aren't original anymore. There's not enough passion in what they're making. They don't Are have you enough look- passion for it. Yeah, I would say I, 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 I somewhat agree with you because a lot of times I mean, these days you get musicians dropping music and it doesn't stick. You know what I mean? What are yeah. some of your uh, strategies to make sure that your music is timeless? Well... I feel like it all starts with the beat. Like, I let the beat tell me where to go. And if that shit is, like, I'm just looking for, like, some beautiful-ass shit that, mm-hmm. like, connects with me. And if it connects with me, I hope it connects with another person. You know what I mean? And then then come the lyrics. And that's, like, a really important part to me. So, like, I freestyle a lot of my shit and, like, write it down as I'm going. I just, like, freestyle and then write it down. I feel like a lot of people do that, too. But, yeah. And um, literally... I try to, like, make it simple, but, like, I really speak from, like, my soul, bro. Like, it's not even always experiences. It's just, like, shit that I'm feeling. Like, whatever I'm feeling at that time, I'm going to say it on a song. Mm. And I hope it sticks with another person. Mm. Who are you trying to cater to? Or are you just putting out music because it comes from the soul? I'm going to cater to anyone who wants to listen to me. For real, like, I don't care who it is or who you are. If you want to listen to my art and if it mm. connects with you, I'm cool with that. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Now, earlier you did talk about bringing up um, playing instruments, but you don't make beats. Uh, mm. Do you Do you at least try to incorporate the, the, the instruments into your music? Oh, yeah, for sure. What are some of the instruments that you play? Uh, I play guitar. I know how to play like basic piano and I play the ukulele too. Hey, that's tight. The ukulele, that's a, that's a good instrument right there. Which one's your favorite? Uh, guitar, definitely, bro. Once you like pick that shit up, you can't put it down. It's like addicting as fuck. Dang, so you're good on the campfires, huh? Nah, I'm not really that type of guy. I just like you played in my room. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure, yeah. dog. All right. I mean, I have one time. One, once or twice when, I've, when I'm asked to like, so how old good. were you when um, you first heard your voice on a recorded track? 17, the same age I am right now. Hey, bro, talk about that experience. How did that, how did that feel? Mm, well, my friend started making this rap music. Like, I don't know. He just started making music on his phone. And then he bought, like, a mic and an interface and everything. He had a laptop. He had, like, Ableton or whatever. And I would just, like, sit in his basement and just, like, record i had like verses that i wrote to like no beat at all and i just put it on that shit and i somehow made it like flow with the beat <laughs> i'd like write it before i heard the beat and then just put that shit down dang bro how many songs are available right now that are out on my song club yeah uh shit probably like 25 30 and is that where you can uh, find your music, just on SoundCloud? There's no other music platform? Yeah, I want to put it on, like, YouTube and Spotify and stuff, but... The day-by-day process, bro, day-by-day process. Now, with the SoundCloud, 25 to 30 songs, what's uh, some of your favorites? I really like No Hook Freestyle, and um, one of my other favorites is... Uh, there's this one song called uh, See You in Hell, Friend, that not a lot of people listen to, but I like that shit a lot. See you in hell. Now, for all the new viewers, um, what are some of the songs they should start off with? Um, shit, I don't know. Uh, 
Probably my favorite is No Hook Freestyle. I like that one a lot. I don't know. I've just gotten, like, so much better, like, mm. in the time that I've recorded, like, all those other songs that, like, I don't even know what to tell them. Because I just keep getting better, and I'm just like, damn, that shit was ass. <laughs> uh, with, your, with your music, bro, where are you trying to go with your career? Are you just having fun? Or are you trying to reach fame? Um, honestly, bro, fame would be cool and all, but, like, I like punk shit. Just, like, mm. doing whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you can't let people tell you what to do. It's like, I've, I've thought about this, like, if, like, the opportunity ever arises, like, do I want to sign to a label or do I not? Like, I hope to have it as a job one day, for sure. Like, that's what I'm striving for, being able to make my own money and just, like, supporting myself off of it. But, like, also, I have that, like, ambition in me that wants all that fame, like, to sell, like, 20 million fucking records a year or shit like that. Just, like, there's that in me, but, like, I don't know how I would react to it, honestly. <clears throat> bro fame is a weird thing you know um i don't know if you dealt with any kind of hate yet but if you have what are some ways that you deal with negative comments and stuff like that um honestly i haven't i haven't had to deal with too much hate like maybe like one or two people that are just like internet trolls but that's it <clears throat> and just like the, i don't know I responded to one guy a bunch. That was, like, the first time someone was, like, actually trolling me. But I responded to one guy, and then I just kind of stopped caring a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like the best way to deal with it is just not giving them the, the attention that they want back. Yeah, that's true, bro, because regardless, man, they're going to be out there. You know what I mean? And that's just their job. It's just their hate, you know? <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, let's say, you know, you're, you're, you're reaching more success and growth. You're getting good numbers, getting good fan base. Is there certain artists that you would like to work with in the future? Oh, hell yeah, bro. Like, um, shit, just like, uh, let's see who I want to work with. Who, who would I want to work with? Uh, fuck. Hella people, bro. Like, I don't know. I really, I want like a, uh, I want to work with like Thug and Future and like just like um shit like underground artists too like Suicide Boys like hell yeah Bones uh like Xavier Wolf um Eddie Baker for sure he's fire as fuck I love Eddie Baker um who else who else do I fuck with I fuck with Poya heavy there's just one dude named Kill Switch who I'd love to work with oh do you know who that is? Yeah, uh, uh, someone in the underground put me onto them. Yeah, Kill Switch is fire, bro. I would want to work with him. Um, and maybe some like bands too, like um, shit. Like uh, I've been really fucking with uh, what's the name? Actually, never mind. They're they're old bands. They're old. I don't think they would work. Still, <laughs> they're not together still. Well, you need a bunch of good artists, man. I, w I could see that. That would be badass and a dream come true for sure, dude. Uh, yeah. That'd be uh, awesome. Now, with we only have about a month left of the year. Do you have any uh, set set plans before the year ends as far as music? Oh, yeah. Get this album, or not the album, the EP out within, like, this next month or so, like, the next couple of weeks, and then just start, uh, go back to dropping, like, twice a week, like I usually did. Dope. So we got an EP coming soon. Um, can you give any details on that? Uh, it's going to be like Midwest emo math rock type shit. Dang, that's tight. That's tight. That's tight. Does and like your... grunge. Grunge too. Gun, grunge trap. Uh, does your environment um, kind of help shape your sound or are you just on the internet? My environment. Yeah. In a way, my environment does like I don't know. I hang out with a lot of, like, fucked up people. <laughs> and, like, I don't know, we just do stupid shit. So, yeah, I guess it kind of does. Now, what about, how, how tapped in are you into the, the underground scene? Ah, yeah, I like all the big, like, the relatively big underground artists. Like, um, I don't know, I feel like the underground is so crazy because there's just, like, so much shit that I haven't heard yet. But, like, I'm tapped into it. Like, I know about a bunch of, like, little smaller artists. Like, all the big ones. Mm. What about your thoughts on SoundCloud? You've been, you said that that's the only uh, application you're using right now for yeah. music. What are your thoughts on 
SoundCloud as a whole? Um, as a whole, I think it has like a bad like stigma around it because like there's so much like stuff that isn't really like that good to everyone on mm -hmm. here, and people don't like it, mm -hmm. and they just like are so quick to say everyone who raps on SoundCloud is like the same or like trash or whatever. I don't think that's true. Like there's a ton of like cool shit on here. You just have to like find it, which is the hard part because it's there's just like so much you can't really For find real. it a lot. Let's say um. <clears throat> let's say SoundCloud reached out to you. What would be one uh, tip that you would tell them or some advice? Um, make it easier to have, like, accessible playlists, like Spotify does, like, play like playlists to put artists on. Mm. Like, I know there's, like, little playlists or whatever, but those are already, like, big artists. I yeah. feel like this, it should be easier to um, get the small artists to kind of shine through all the shit that goes <laughs> goes on in the underground i guess for real like, bro. that's a part of the journey too so also I'm, ads ads are fucking annoying and reposts there should be a uh, repost uh, limit i would say that what is it like every four songs there's like an ad on soundcloud or something like that it's stupid I'm yeah just... they definitely need to work on the ads and um you're right sometimes i'll go on the sound soundcloud page and you got like these mainstream artists on there and I'm like, what the hell is this, bro? Like, you should be focused on the underground or the musicians that popped off from SoundCloud. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's some uh, good advice you got there, bro. You got a good mindset. Yeah. Do you have anything else that you really want to do in, in this kind of industry that's not music-based? Oh, bro. I want to, like... I love, like, writing poetry and stories. And, like, I want to, like, make my own, like, short films and, like... Like, I want to, like, model on, like, magazine covers and shit. Just, like, mm. a whole bunch of shit. Like, a ton of shit, bro. Dang. Sure. Make my own, like, clothes. Like, my own shoes. Like, all, I have so much shit that I want to do. But, like, music is, like, the main thing that, like, drives me. Mm. Dang. To, like, do that so I can do all this other shit. So, all right. So, music's, like, the, the first thing off the list kind of thing. Yeah. All yeah. right, so with you wanting to do short films and stuff like that, what kind of inspired you to kind of go that route? Tim Burton. Ooh. You know that? Tim Burton, bro. I love his style. Like, it's just so dark and, like, so cool. It's just been so cool to me ever since I was a little kid. Yeah, uh, Tim Burton is a genius for sure. He has, if he's not directing it, he's produced so many other films. What are some of your favorites from him? Um, there's this one short film called Vincent that I really like. Of course, I like A Nightmare Before Christmas, like Edward Scissorhands, all that other shit. Damn. And uh, A Corpse Bride. Yeah. Have you seen Vincent? Have I seen which one? Vincent? Yeah, I have. Yes. For real? Damn, that that's really fire good. as fuck. Yeah. It was, on, um, it was on, like, the special features on one of the DVDs. Yeah. Yeah, that, it was that's really special. good. Yeah. And uh, even, um, even the old school Frankie and Weenie, I don't know if you've seen that one. Yeah. yeah, that one was really good, bro. Uh, have you ever tried doing like stop motion? Uh, nah, that that's just like, I I that shit's inspired me to do like music videos and shit. Just like, mm. I don't know, I've had these like ideas for music videos in my head with like stop motion animation, kind of like Tim Burton. Damn, some, like, really like fucked up, twisted shit. Like, yeah, know, like... bro, make that move because I don't see it. It's not it's not happening right now in the underground. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you, You'll be the first, bro. Yeah. Dang, that's cool. Try it. What about uh, some of the hobbies? We don't know, like, for the viewers that know, don't know about you, what are some hobbies that you like to do? Shit, when I'm not, like, writing or freestyling or, like, making melodies in my head, I uh, mm. I play guitar a lot. I, um, shit, I play video games, bro. I just do, like, normal kid shit, <laughs> like, hang out with my friends. Just, like, that's fuck shit up. Just, like, hey. Bad, bad. That's tight. That's tight. What are some of the games you be playing? Shit. Um, what do I play? I play a lot of this game called Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, what else? I like Call of Duty. I played Warzone a little bit. Uh, Halo. Um, Minecraft is fire as fuck. It's always, <laughs> always fucking crazy. Those are fun um, games, bro. Have you ever done like uh, music listening parties during a live game? 
Yeah, I've low key like tried to promote my shit on on Xbox before. <laughs> yeah, bro. There's there's all kinds of different avenues to promote your music. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the right way, you know. Sometimes you get those artists that are just mad annoying. Yeah. I feel uh, like it's. Go ahead. I feel like people don't like look like they don't understand what an artist is like trying to do when they like tell people about their fucking mixtape. Like oh, they're yeah. trying to promote that shit, bro. Like. It's not like, it's not like the, like, if you go into someone's comments and, like, spam your, like, go follow me on SoundCloud or some shit, that's not going to work. But, like, if you tell, like, if you, like, ask them to listen to your music, they might like it. Mm. Like, that's not a bad thing. It's called promotion. Like, people just don't give. Dang, dog. Bro, uh, I remember, like, 10 years ago, I, I did the rap thing, but I didn't promote it on the internet. I just made, like, physical CDs and just handed it out in the corner. Like, That's have, fire, you ever, have you ever thought about doing that? You know, bringing it back. Low key, yeah. I, I know, I know. The baby did that, and he's like from the area I'm from. So what for real? Yeah, we live in the same state. All that shit. I mean, like he he lives in Charlotte, and I live in like North Raleigh. Oh no way, bro. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the baby? Oh, he's fire as fuck, bro. I, I fuck with the baby. He's putting on for North Carolina, like J Cole and Son of Vegas and shit. There's yeah. hella like. But, like, the thing about North Carolina is it's either gangster rap or, like, super lyrical rap. Like, that's mm -hmm. it. I don't see any variation, bro. Like, none. Damn, bro. You're here to change the game, though. I am, bro. I like that. I like that. I like that. How, and did I ask you, like, what genre would you put yourself under? Um, I've been trying to make my own genre, to be honest. Just, like, make my own sound and make my own genre. You know, just, like, build off the shit that I'm doing right now and see what I like about it. And maybe one day I'll I'll link up with, like, some super fire-ass producer where we just bounce ideas back and forth, like, make some crazy-ass beats. Hmm. Just, like, build. And, you know. Are you currently working with producers? Or how do you find your, your beats that you, that you want to use? Uh, I go on YouTube and I reach out to the producers. If they make shit that I like. If I'm like, damn, this is fire as fuck on, like, every beat that they have. And then I reach out to them and I'm like, yo, you're fire. <laughs> like, let's work. Yeah, that's tight. That's tight. What is your, your process on um, getting your music on, like, uh, Spotify and Apple? Um, See, I'm not sure how to do that. I know I have to make, like, an artist account on Spotify. But I don't know, like, all the little things that go into it. Like, if I – because, like, I make music with, like, samples in it and shit. And I want to be mm -hmm. as consistent on every platform as I am on, like, SoundCloud. You know what I mean? Mm. Otherwise, there's really no point in, like, doing it. I mean, mm. there is, but, like, it's not going to make, like... Well, what are what are some ways that you're using to promote your music? Shit, I reach out to people personally, and I'm like, yo, I fuck with you. Like, I like how you do this, this, and that. And then I'm like... They're like, yo, thanks. We drop like falls to each other, and I'm like, yo, if you could go check out my music, that'd be fire. Let me know what you think. Shit like that. Yeah. And I like get shout outs sometimes, but I'm not really sure how to go about like promoting the actual content, really, without well, having to like drop a bunch of money for it. You're making the right decision on at least reaching out, you know, talking to the folks, getting out there, you know what I mean? That's the first step. Um, have you ever looked up, like, uh, promoting your music on TikTok? Yeah. I just feel like I don't make, like, TikTok music. I don't know. Um, one thing that I learned, I, I used to feel the same way with you. I thought TikTok was just, like, specifically for, like, dancing and a certain type of music. But I come to find out, bro, TikTok is, like, the next... It's kind of weird to say, but like the next YouTube, and you will find a new fan base there, bro. It's just gotta stay consistent. Um, sure. I'm gonna and, get to that. Yeah, most definitely, bro. Because all these different applications, you can really find different fan bases, man, and you can grow that way. Um, like the YouTube, bro. You definitely need to get a YouTube. That would be the big move right there. Have you? Yeah, you, did, you did bring up um, ideas for like a music video, but do you have any uh, like? specific songs that you want to work on as far as a music video nah see like i like the song like when i put it out and then i listen to it and i'm like damn i don't want to shoot a video to this mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just waiting for that song that i'm like yeah i fuck with this let's shoot a video to it you know what i mean 
Hey, you're patient, bro. That's good. That's a good, that's a good thing to have right there. A good trait. Now, 2022 is upon us, bro. Do you have any set plans, set goals for that year coming? Shit, bro. Just get everything that I can for that year. Just work as hard as I can, do as much as I can, get as far as I can, and you know, we'll see what happens. I like that. I like that. What? Are you, so, have you done any performances yet? Nah, hell no. Nah. That's also something I want to do. I want to get up on stage and go fucking nuts, bro. Yeah. What are some of the musicians that you uh, look up to that kill it on stage? Nirvana, hundred percent. Like Nirvana. when Kurt and Chris, like fucking had like a guitar sword fight bro i thought that was the coolest shit <laughs> yeah when he like throws his guitars down and like uh i also fuck with x mm. his performances he knows how to get like the crowd lit and shit yeah just like Damn. yeah Damn. people who go hard like suicide boys like their pits are crazy bro uh -huh. for real, for real. hey uh what are your thoughts on like x oh x bro he's a i fucking dude He's something else, man. He, that guy was different, bro. Like, yeah, he 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 was a really, really, really versatile and talented artist, in my yeah. opinion. Most he was he was like something that I strive to be. Mm. Like, everyone thought he was just like oh, some like hard like screamo rapper, and then he dropped like all those singing albums and shit. Like, I was just like, damn, I was blown away by Seventeen, bro. Like. Yeah. Same. People who make transformations like that really just, they inspire the fuck out of me. Mm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you brought up how you listen to all these different types of music growing up. Do you feel like you're you're the same type of artist? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a way, yeah. How's your singing? Um, I've honestly been trying to, like, that's the shit I've been working on the most. Because, like, the writing shit just comes, like, so naturally to me. Because I've been writing my whole life. Just, like, really, like, poetry and shit. And, like, stories. I've always loved, like, writing creatively. So that shit just came really easy. Mm. Would you say that this was the first year that you were officially uh, an artist? Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. I've only been making music for, like, five months, bro. Dang, five months ago, bro. Wow, that's crazy. Can you tell, uh, tell us one w that you got from it and one l man <laughs> i got a fat l for it yeah um a w shit everything's been like a lot of shit i can see as a w like i've met so many cool people through mm -hmm. this shit like that's the biggest w just like meeting all these different people like they tell me they fuck with my music and I like fuck with theirs, so it's like a mutual thing. It's just like we're friends. Like uh, one L I got from music this year, man. This is a <laughs> man. Fucking uh, this dude I used to like write write music for and like uh, make music with. He just like man, he fucked me over in the worst way, bro. <laughs> like he started like fucking my sister and like dating her and then he stopped talking to me deleted all of all of the shit that we uh worked on on soundcloud it was like three songs but yeah bro he did me the worst way bro like that's dirty yeah karma oh. though like when he sees me like blow up and shit he's gonna be like damn i should have stuck with him so that doing him dirty. why is there always someone like that I don't know, bro. I, I for real thought he was like my brother, too, until he did that shit. Man, bro. He did me dirty, bro. Yeah. Damn, that's I mean, I've taken, L's, I've, I've taken L's like that this year, too, but that's probably the biggest one. Oh, so, man. What, a, what is a lesson that you learned from that? I don't know. People can just switch up on you, bro. You got to, like, really be in touch with yourself before you let someone, like, like – Come in and like mm. just do that shit to you, you know. Oh, gotta yeah. keep your eyes open. You gotta keep your eyes open for the fake people. Yup, yup. How good um, is your intuition? Like, how how tapped in are you into that? Oh, man, I try to get more tapped into that shit every day that I'm alive, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I try to really just like understand everything around me. Damn. Like, just think about everything. 
Well, my man, you got a good head on your shoulders, bro. I'm looking forward to everything that you got. Um, is there anything that we didn't tap into that you want the people to know about? Go listen to Title Fight. They're a fire ass band. Title Fight. Title Fight. They're fire as fuck. Um, yeah. <laughs> Title Fight's fire ass band. That's all I kept saying. <laughs> Boom. Y'all heard it from Half Wicked. Bro, it was a good podcast. Oh, Most yeah. definitely, you got to do another one again in an earlier time, you know, for yeah. you. My, my apologies there. But uh, go ahead and tell all the new viewers that are going to be watching where they can find your music. Hey, you can find my music, <laughs> Half Wicked, on SoundCloud. Oh, yeah, and uh, follow me on Instagram if you want to. DM me. Let, like, let me know if you want to work. Just do some talk. I don't know. Boom. There it yeah, is. SoundCloud. Half Wicked. All right, Half Wicked. Thank you for joining us for radio. It was a pleasure. You have a good one, brother. You too, bro. Peace. Nothing but good stuff.